Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. This is the first on a series of videos on relay logic. In this video, I will be making the logic gate and and also the NAND gate. Logic gates, the principal gates are the AND, OR, and the XOR gates. These are the building blocks for doing all kinds of computations. Every computer has, at its most basic level, logic gates. There are many ways to make the logic gates, and one of them is using relays. In fact, the first computers that were invented used these electromechanical devices, relays. So I will be using LEDs, switches and relays to build the logic gate. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. Logic gates have two inputs and one output. The output depends on the state of the inputs and they work in binary that is we only have zero and one one represents the presence of a voltage and zero no voltage so here we have the truth table we have the two inputs a and b which can be in any of the four combinations zero 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 one one zero and one one and here we have the output of the AND gate and its negative, the NAND gate. As you can see, the output AND is always zero unless both A and B are one. And of course, NAND is always one unless we have A and B at the state one. In order to make the gates, I will be using single pole double throw relays, such as this one. These relays are the ones with five pins. Two of them correspond to the coil. We have a common contact, a normally open contact, and a normally closed one. This is how I will be drawing the relays in these schematics. Here we have the coil the common contact, the normally closed contact, and the normally open contact. One terminal of the coil goes to negative or ground, and the other is free for connection. When the coil is not energized, we have the common and the normally closed contact. We have a connection between them. But when we energize the coil, this switch moves to the other position and now we have connection between the common and the other contacts. This is the full circuit. We have the two relays, the two switches which represent the inputs, switch A and switch B, and the two LEDs which represent the outputs AND and NAND. So, let's see, here I have the truth table to remember. The first case is A0 and B0. 0 represents an open switch, no current passes, and 1 represents a closed switch, the current can flow. Now, 0, 0 is both switches open, like in the drawing, and let's see, we have that the current cannot go to the AND LED and it is off, that is zero, but the NAND LED does have current and therefore 
it is on. We have a 1. Now, the next case is 0 in A and 1 in B. We have switch A open and switch B closed. The current flows through here, but it can go nowhere. So, and the LED and is still off, 0, and the NAND LED is still on, 1. The next case is switch A closed and switch B open. We close the switch, the current flows through the coil. This switch moves to the other position, but since B is not connected, it is open, the current cannot flow, and this LED is still off, zero. And the other LED, NAND, is still on, one. The last case, when both switches, both switches are closed, let's see, we close A, close B, current flows through the coil, this switch moves to the other position, and the current now flows from here to here, and this LED is now on. We have a 1. And the current that is flowing here also energizes the coil of the second relay. This switch moves to this position, and now no current can flow through the other LED. This is now off, zero. So, let's now see it working on the real circuit. Okay, here it is. We have positive and negative of the power supply. The two switches, two relays, the AND LED and the NAND LED with its resistors because we are using 5 volts. We use this voltage because it's the working voltage of the relays. And remember, in the relays, these two pins correspond to the coil. The center pin is the common contact. This is the normally open and normally closed. I'm not going to connect the power supply to see it working. Here, both switches are to the left or in the zero position. They are open. When we move the switch to the right, it is in the one position, it is closed. So this is the zero zero configuration and we can see that the AND LED is off and the NAND is on. Let's now move to the one zero configuration. We have the same situation. Now the next, which is zero and one. Still we have the same, it must be. Now, the last configuration, which is 1-1. One, one. And here you can see that the AND LED is on and the NAND, which is the negative, is now off. Okay, that's all for today's video. In for coming videos, I will be showing you the other two basic logic gates, the OR gate and the XOR gate, and also a binary adder. Thank you and see you in the next video.